Oh, my she's trying to squeeze all of it. And put on the TikTok. Just squeeze, keep on squeezing, keep on squeezing. Keep on squeezing, man. Who got this towel here? Who is that? Oh, I was trying to wipe that up. It was Mario. Squeeze it real hard like you're bringing the rag. Here she is pressing all the water out of the spinach after she has sauteed it. Um, I think this clip should have came after this other clip. I think I got the clips out of order. But yeah, she's uh, squeezing all the water out of it because you won't make good spinach dip if it's wet and soggy. So we want just dry, want it as dry as possible. So she is squeezing um, all the excess water out of it. The best way to do it is with your hand. A lot of people use uh, frozen spinach. But um, uh, I know I like everything as fresh as possible. So you can still do it, but you just have to rinse it with cold water and then press up all the water out of okay, the spinach yeah, that's good. and just uh, set it to the side to be ready to mix it to your uh, right. into your sauce. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, yep, squeeze. So she's continuing to press all the water okay, out. Cook it with Chrissy's. The dryer the pasta, the best. And so yes. she was uh, sauteing uh, that the the, uh, well, there, I think. Uh, this clip should will go before that clip because it's yes, uh, she did that water first water and then of course then yes, she rinsed it with cold water, water and that's the auto choke parts. parts. They are, um, marinated um, in water. I did a rough chop. I'm about to do a rough chop the of these, but first I rinsed them. So I'm um, over at the we're sink. Then about to go over to the sink and rinse them. These are some other ingredients we're gonna put in there. I chopped up half an onion. I made some homemade mayonnaise, sour cream. And yeah, I'm, so we're, uh, we're going to mince some garlic artichokes. later on. And now I'm uh, rinsing the artichoke hearts. And I think that's like a 14 ounce jar of the fork right, of the uh, artichoke hearts. Oh, and now we're going to take it off. Take it off the heat. Yeah, so uh, she's sauteing the fresh spinach. This is about and 16. I have a 16 to... ounce bag of fresh spinach that fresh I got fish. from the store. We're all um, water and we just take some olive oil. And just uh, overheat, medium heat. Just doing just a light um, saute. We got the water on the cold water on standby. We're gonna put that spinach in the colander so that it could get rinsed off, and then later press real hard as possible. Meanwhile, while she was doing that, I chopped uh, so I have an onion, and then we're gonna uh, use my mincer to mince those garlic later on in the process. I'm doing a rough chop of the artichoke hearts. Hearts they've been rinsed. Um, these they you can buy these uh, marinated, but these particular ones are were in water, and I think that's the best way to do it. So that way you can season your sauce how you want to, unless you like a marinated artichoke. But these are paramount. You don't have to uh, cut them up too small. Just cut them up small enough where. You want every conceivable piece of the artichoke along with the cheese and the spinach to in every dip of the sauce. So just chopping it down enough so that it can be bite sized. Yeah, a lot goes a long way with uh with the uh with the artichokes. Okay, you push it. Yes, recording. Oh, I was telling you. Oh, no. Yep, there they are. Oh, it's still recording. 14 okay. ounce jar so we have of chops, uh, water. Water uh, In water and artichokes. Now we're about to put you use the whole entire the jar because you're making a whole um, tray, I mean, a whole pan yeah. of it because I, I uh, end up. Uh, heating up the uh, after we get through everything, the whole dip into a uh, grilled. Um, All right, we're about to do our a grilled. Uh, what is that? Uh, squished the life out of the spinach. Uh, cast iron pan. So she has squished onions. all the water out. Butter. We got our water butter on standby, and we have our onions on standby. She just put on put in an eight ounce uh, softer to room temperature. Um, I mean, that's cream, but the, uh, pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. 
sour cream. I mean, no, not sour cream. Uh, cream cheese in. And see, I uh. Now, some people don't put this in. Had to be a little, a little different. I cream. put um. So everybody don't do it like that. everybody do their sauce differently. But I put in a little bit, I say about a half a cup, no, a one fourth to one half cup stuff of uh, heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. just to give it an extra creaminess. That's the onions. Yes, once it start melting, we can start putting the seeds I don't quite in put in. those in yet. Like the, what is that? And she's just melting that down. Now that I think of it, I probably should have um, took that butter and sauteed those onions and then added that other stuff. But it's all going in together. Yeah, it's supposed to take a while for it to break down, even though it was room temperature is still, uh, cream cheese is still pretty thick. She got to heat up on, enough on that. I didn't want to burn anything, so I just had it over a medium. Had her have it over a medium heat. I don't know, I can't yeah, see they it. Can, um, uh, spinach artichoke dip is very okay, easy, you know, it's just a matter of uh, making sure you have all your ingredients prepped. And um, it's just layering flavors and everything. This is, I've labeled this, I'm going to label this video part one. Because this is the preparation mm -hmm. process of just getting the sauce put together. And then I'm going to have another video where there is um, actually um, it, be, it, it being put together and stuff. And the reaction, I'm going to do a reaction video along with that of how it tasted at the end. So I'm going to do a whole nother part two. To this, you want to melt now or not? I don't want to get it. These open for you. Seeing this is stirred, breaking it down. We got our rough chop artichokes on standby. Our onions on standby, and of course, our very dry spinach on standby. I think uh, frozen, fresh or frozen, are pretty interchangeable. But I think anything, if you could get it fresh, get it definitely get it fresh. But I see a lot of people that uh, recipes that was doing this recipe. Uh, if it was like part and part, it just depends on what your uh, preferences you know, is. Some people prefer uh, frozen spinach. Some people prefer um, the fresh spinach. The key to all the spinach is make sure that it's dry, that you squeeze out all the water. I cannot reiterate that enough. As long as you remember that, you'll do well with this recipe. I wish I had um, more mozzarella. I had so, a blend of cheeses. I had uh, a triple cheese, cheddar, uh, triple cheddar, Vermont cheddar mix that I mainly put in here as far as to shred it. And then I had some provolone too, which turned out, I think, made it taste extra good. I sure would have had some mozzarella, mozzarella in there if... Uh, I had it, but you work with you work with what you got. All right, you put no spinach right, leaves in there. Spinach in. That is a sixteen ounce bag Try of spinach it. leaves. Spinach. Just having her chop it down, break it down. Three. Well, about extra butter and then sure. We'll be different. I mean, I know one side and one outside, but I mean, what I'm saying. Because you don't want too much sauce, you steady adding other stuff. Yeah, like you can already be having stuff in there. Looking at something like 
Okay, now put the artichokes in. Yeah, go ahead, put the artichokes in. Hey, that's in the 80s. Get that shit. Get that shit. Get that shit. Get that shit. Uh oh. Shoot, forget that. Don't put that in. Yeah, it ain't that serious. I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna rinse it off. Why you just throw it away? Here, give it to me. Throw it away. Mommy. Yeah, that's a big, that was a big clove. Yes. Let me see that garlic. Keep on pressing, it come out. Let me see that. Ooh, let me see the part that the garlic coming. Oh, that looks good. Yes. Yes. Woo! B bomb. Got some more clothes. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's some more. Okay, we are pressing the garlic into the sauce. I'm sure it's better. Okay. Slice this up, uh, let me see, this provolone. Slice this up as small as you can and stir it in. There's one more. Yeah. 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 